up y'all, it's Jimmy coming to you guys with another video. Before we get into the video, as always, make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And when you guys say subscribe, please make sure you guys are hitting that notification button. So getting right into the video, I have another review for y'all. This time it is on a pair of Air Jordan 6s, specifically the UNC colorway that came out about two to three weeks ago. So the crazy thing about this shoe is that Nike and sneakers actually did like a little shock drop on the sneakers app. Pretty common, something that you always see Jordan brand do on the sneakers app, like maybe a couple of days before the actual release. But it was actually announced by Nike and Jordan brand that they kind of messed up the inventory when they did the shock drop and they released all the pairs. And I want to say the amount that they said was roughly 70,000 pairs. So if you guys managed to hit on that shock drop, congrats y'all because these shoes no longer have an official release date. All the pairs came out on that shock drop. But getting right into the review, of course, starting with the box that the shoes come in. They come in your typical Air Jordan 6 box, but this time rather than having like a black cover, the cover is in like that powder blue. Very common to see on all UNC colors. So cool to see Jordan Brent incorporate a little bit more of the shoe into the packaging itself. The size tag is pretty common, right? All stuff that we already know. Size tag reads Air Jordan 6 Retro. Colors are University Blue, White, Black. These are a size nine. And to just retail, I believe was 200 or so. So after tax, it probably comes out to be like 218, 220, at least in Texas. And getting right to it, here are the shoes. So I will tell you guys, seeing this shoe in person, this is a really fire shoe. Like I feel like a lot of people when they saw the shoe, they were kind of iffy, kind of on the fence. I mean, the color combination, you can't go wrong with, right? But I think people are just really over kind of like the clunky Jordans. Like I don't think they're really too in style right now, but at the end of the day, as a sneakerhead, as an OG sneakerhead, when you see something like this, you can't help but to appreciate it. So unfortunately, these aren't a personal pair, so I can't show you guys on foot. But of course, I will show you guys the detailed close-ups of the shoe and all that. And getting right into it, here is the outsole of the shoe. Nothing too crazy. I will say, like, you know, you guys can tell you by yourself by looking at the bottoms of the shoe. There's just something about the white, the powder blue, or I guess university blue in this case, and then the icy blue soles. It just looks so nice, like... You know, this isn't like a super practical shoe that you could wear on a daily basis, but the little accents on the shoe really make it pop. And then moving on to the midsole, you have your classic Air Jordan 6 midsole with the shark tooth. And then you also have your icy soles that wrap up. And then the air unit on this one is kind of like an off-white, not really off-white, but it's kind of like a cream color, which I think looks pretty good. I think if they would have did the university blue, it would have been a little bit too much blue, even though you can never really see inside the air pocket. I like the color that Jordan Brand decided to go with this shoe. And then moving on to the uppers of the shoe, this is where things get interesting. So essentially imagine a Carmine 6, but a lot better quality. And then everywhere you have that typical Carmine color, you have the university blue and a suede nubuck material. I'll say the quality on the leather and the quality on the nubuck is actually pretty fire. I don't know, like I feel like I've held a pair of Air Jordan 6s recently and it did not feel like this pair here. I don't know if Jordan brand up their quality specifically for this shoe, but I will say everything about it is actually really nice in hand. And of course, along the shoe, you guys see the different perforations on the mid panel, the back portion, on the tongue of course but lots of different little details that you have on the air jordan 6 and then moving on to the back of the shoe rather than having your nike air or jumpman stitch right there you kind of have like a jersey tag which i'm not the biggest fan of but honestly i don't hate it it kind of gives me like a pe player edition vibe type of shoe clearly it would have been dope if nike or jordan brand decided to do like a big nike air in that university blue i think people would have went absolutely crazy if that was the case but nonetheless this is something that is a little bit different and i'm honestly not mad at it and of course with the air jordan 6 you have your classic pull tab that is on basically all the sixes besides the lows if i'm not mistaken it is in a black material with a hit of that university blue also in plastic and then moving on to the top of the shoe you have a black tongue and white laces 
your lacing area. I forgot what they call this portion. I'm not gonna remember it, so I'm not gonna try to butcher it. But this portion here, they have it in that university blue and then like a dark obsidian navy jump in right there. I think that looks really nice. And then your lace lock is also in that dark navy color with the jumpman right there being in that university blue. So kind of like a reverse of each other, like an inverse. So I think that's really nice. And now that I look at it, I don't know if it's the light. I'm pretty sure this is black. I was gonna say maybe the midsole is actually that obsidian navy colorway, but I think this is black. And then this right here, the lace lock and this cloth material is in that obsidian navy color. And the last detail on the shoe is the Air Jordan 6 tongue. Rather than having a solid color, Jordan brand and Nike decided to do kind of like a pattern, very similar to what you see on like the sevens. I don't know if every single pair is different because supposedly with the Air Jordan sevens, every single tongue is different on every single pair. So that's kind of crazy to think about, but cool little touch of detail there. Personally for myself, I think if they would have just made it like a solid color, I would have preferred it a little bit more, but I'm not mad at that little touch of detail right there. But that's really it for the Air Jordan 6 UNC. Like I said, really not too much to review when it comes to these Air Jordans, just because the silhouette is very well known. It's just like the different quality, different colorway, different color blocking. Um, like I said, I think the shoe is very well done. The quality check on this pair at least is superb. Like. Nike made sure there were no glue stains whatsoever. I don't know if all the pairs are like that, but this pair right here is really solid. Let me know down below in the comments, are these a cop or a drop? For myself, I'll definitely say if you guys managed to cop them, I would keep them. I think they're a good hold. I think they're only really bound to go up just because Nike dropped all 70,000 pairs. So eventually, maybe in a year or two, I could see these going up like a hundred bucks or so. So not too crazy of a hold, but if you wanted to wear them, if you wanted to keep them in collection, I definitely think these are a good ad. And it's gonna wrap up the video. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.